Raymond has a question to do with the use of non-US alphabet characters. When he first wrote programs with text in Spanish and ran them using Python, he got an error. Syntax error, non-ASCII character. He did not get that error when running the same code in idle. It worked as it should. He solved this by changing the encoding. So, as we're building a search engine that will scan pages in different languages and um, perhaps use different language interfaces, how should we change our code so that it does not run into problems with encoding? What should our default character set be? Thanks for the question, Raymond. And this is a really good point to bring up that as you take inputs that include more languages than just English, well, the character sets are different. And if you look at a web page, there's a header in the web page that identifies what character set it's using. This is part of the HTTP protocol to have, have a header that describes the content type, which includes the character set. And the character set can be selected from a few different ones. The most common one, the most common one is called UTF-8. And that's using a way of encoding characters that makes the simple characters um, that can be encoded in just seven bits. And this is the character set that is known as ASCII. These are characters that are common in English. Doesn't cover all the characters that are used in all other languages. But those seven bit characters can encode, be encoded using a small amount of space. And the standard we've been using in Python with standard strings that they're all ASCII, that each character is one byte. There's only 255 possible characters that can be encoded in one byte, though. So if you're wanting to deal with more languages, you need to use more different characters. Um, the way to do that is called Unicode. Unicode is a character set that can support large numbers of characters. It's actually a way of encoding characters that doesn't have a limit on how many characters you can support, and a way of encoding those that makes it efficient when the characters are small, but allows you to still encode a large number of characters is called UTF-8, which is what most web browsers use. To deal with this in Python, well, you'd have to deal with, instead of standard strings, Unicode strings. And there is a built-in type for Unicode characters. You can convert a string to Unicode by using Unicode. And then there are ways of encoding Unicode in other character sets. So if you wanted to build a, a web search engine that can deal with text that's not using the standard English character set, you definitely need to worry about handling Unicode and all these different character encodings.